Trust in your credit coma, a self from yes, great co corporate communications manager, Jifa Bampo, and Waba went ten de crata, the aba, and a sem tete tete tete. A summoning now and a say, eh, one must say, say, doom so doom son, your room. Now, a summoning now and a say, a jump from my gas and no, and only a no one de boamen woman to me cause on this canoe. You are meeting the higher side man. Inti doom son, your room, no, no, Auntie Jifa, young queen. So currently, Gridco, as far as we are aware, as the transmission entity and as the entity that manages the national grid, we are aware of some commercial challenges with supply in reference to gas. When we say commercial challenges, it means there are agreements, payments, negotiations that need to be done with the gas suppliers. So really, that has nothing to do with that. But the challenge is one there is a drop in supply as a result of those bottlenecks. It affects generation capacity and then ultimately it affects transmission as well. So for us, we are unable to provide the full quantum of the power supply that ECG would need for demand in country. And that's just because there are these commercial issues related to the gas and government, those need to be addressed. Then, if we get the full quantum of gas supply as we normally do, then we can address mission um, issues. Usually, what would happen is, if Sunon Asobi was operating, they operating because they would have received a supply of gas. However, it, they have chosen not to operate, as I understand is their decision. That is I would have gone to them would just be reallocated to other suppliers who gas for their thermal plant. So it doesn't really have anything to do with the recent outages. The current city we all experience, including myself, is really just because we don't have the full quantum of gas supply, indigenous gas supply in Ghana to meet our demand needs. And that is the reason why we are seeing these challenges. As soon as government is able to